All right, so Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. So this has been a big movie for a long, long time. Back when Robin Williams was alive, there was talk forever and ever about a sequel to Jumanji and a sequel to like Mrs. Doubtfire was in the works and uh, then he uh, tragically died. So they kind of redid it with kind of a sequel-ish feel to it and we have Jumanji Welcome Back to the Jungle which stars these teenagers that find this video game and when I first heard that it kind of threw me off because I wasn't sure how I felt about that because it's a board game, how does it turn into a video game? Then they kind of cleared it up and I understand that, I like it. I wasn't a full fan of it but I do enjoy what they did. I honestly thought they were gonna go boom it's a video game now, deal with it. But no, they weren't, and I like that. Honestly, the movie is pretty solidly funny. It's pretty well acted by everybody. And this is one of those movies where a lot of people are going to go, I can't handle Kevin Hart in this movie, or Kevin Hart had the right amount in this movie. Honestly, in this one, I honestly felt like Kevin Hart had that right amount of dialogue, like they're not shoving Kevin Hart humor down our throats. Don't get me wrong, I love the heyday where Kevin Hart was doing stand-up, and he was, he was just taken over the world with that and then they just started shoving him in our faces with all these movies like Ride Along way too much Kevin Hart way too much like there was just Kevin Hart when he started out with like Ride Along and Central Intelligence if you like Central Intelligence go check out my review of it but it, there were just times where I just could not stand Kevin Hart and he needed the support from other actors in a movie in order to make the movie good and in this one it does it well and I get that right amount of Kevin Hart there's not too much there's not too little it's good also the rock and Kevin Hart work well together not in central intelligence but here they work well together then you got the chick who plays Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy and then you got Jack Black I feel like Jack Black's character could have been played by anybody I really do I mean don't get me wrong I like Jack Black for what he does he comes in here and plays a teenage girl that's trapped inside a 40 year old man's body but I honestly feel like anyone could have came in here. John Pennant, Michael Chiklis, any fat guy who's like 40 or up could have done it. And to be honest, I, I that's my one thing that I don't like is Jack Black. I like his humor. I've just never been a big Jack Black fan. I like how the movie plays out. It plays out level to level like a video game, but you don't really feel that. You feel more of a story going on, and this isn't technically a video game movie, but if we technically call it a video game movie, it would be a good video game movie, and that's why I like it. I felt The Rock did good, too. This is another another example. Enough rock in this movie to make me feel like there's not too much rock. Everyone had their right amount in this movie. They acted it well. They performed it well. No one was too over the top. The villain was a little over the top. I will say that. I did not like him very much at all. But, fully, I did like the humor, I did like the acting, I love this film. If there was one thing I could say bad about it, it's probably that it's an underwhelming villain. And I'm going to give Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle a 7.8 out of 10, because it did pretty solid, and I liked it. And it's kicking ass at the box office, so congratulations, Jumanji. You did it. Alright guys, if you've enjoyed this video, and you want to see more, be sure to drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Also, get yourself some sweet merch down below. Get yourself a Nighthawk t-shirt, get yourself a Trophy Hunters t-shirt, and hell, get yourself a Nintendo 64 Lifeline t-shirt. Guys, I'm Nighthawk, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys.